horrible today. Yellowstone supervolcano. Mountains disappear into a huge magma chamber. Entire mountains collapsed into the magma chamber of the Yellowstone supervolcano, a leading scientist said in a documentary. The Yellowstone supervolcano has been a source of apocalyptic fascination for years, and it's easy to see why. Yellowstone is one of a handful of supervolcanoes worldwide, each at least seven times larger than Mount Tambora, which had the largest volcanic eruption in history. Yellowstone is believed to be the largest of them all, it has erupted three times before 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago and 640,000 years ago. Time, there the latest be a lot eruption of is believed to be 1,000 times larger than the devastating eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980. Yellowstone's last Walls, eruption rocks, created a basin gas, known as a caldera out the nearby that was 55 kilometers wide able... by 80 kilometers deep. The next eruption is expected to cause mass destruction. Drive that giant hot a 2014 cloud. paper as hot as 1,000 degrees would be traveling. Physics. Geosystems found that the volcano was capable of burying states including we'll Idaho and the Colorado in three feet of That's volcanic ash. That's going to take a very, very long time. With eruptions occurring at intervals of approximately 660,000 years. Some people argue that Yellowstone caused the eruption. The 2015 Smithsonian Channel documentary, Yellowstone Supervolcano, explored the impact of the last eruption and the risks posed by future eruptions. Directly beneath the caldera of the last eruption is a magma chamber, fed by a plume of magma that stretches for about 465 miles. Even though most of it is solid rock, it has the potential to melt. The documentary says magma rose through the plume into the magma chamber at a rate of 2 inches per year. One scientist told the documentary, This restless Yellowstone caldera is literally living and breathing. And every now and then, he burps. Concerns began to arise when the plume began to melt and move upward more quickly. Geologist Jake Lowenstern said in the documentary, Natural systems can throw us curveballs. Many things can happen without us being ready to face them. Mr. Lowenstern looked for patterns in three previous eruptions. He continued, In two very large eruptions at Yellowstone, so much material came out, entire mountains ended up falling into the ground and basically disappeared. The documentary's narrator, John Beach, adds that a 50-mile stretch of mountains simply disappeared as they collapsed into the magma chamber. The last eruption threw about 1,000 cubic kilometers of rock, dust and volcanic ash into the atmosphere. Geologist John Westgate has tracked ash from previous eruptions. He said, this covers most of the United States. It happened straight from the Pacific Ocean. It is even found in the Gulf of Mexico. At the time, he and his team were working on a location in northeastern Montana. The thickness of the ash in some places reached more than 7 meters. When Mount St. Helens erupted, ash landed in 11 states and up into Canada. The documentary's narrator says, it's nothing, compared to previous Yellowstone eruptions. He added, in terms of size and volume, each mountain is much larger than Mount St. Helens. If a super eruption occurs, the warning signs will be clear. Lowenstern told Vox earlier this year, we will likely see intense seismic activity throughout the park for the first time. Weeks and months will likely pass until the earthquake cracks the rock above the magma, allowing an eruption to occur. Lowenstern stressed the worst-case scenario is unlikely, although things could change, as seen with previous super eruptions. He said, even if Yellowstone erupts again, you probably won't get that worst-case scenario. More common are small eruptions.
This is often ignored by the media. The United States Geological Survey noted that there are no signs of an eruption in the near future. The chance of an eruption occurring in a given year is only 0.00014%. There is also no guarantee that Yellowstone erupts regularly. Mr. Lowenstern said, Earth will experience super eruptions in the future, but will it happen at Yellowstone? That's not a sure thing.